you know, a lot of times you feel like you're absolutely being crushed. But what you got to know is that you're not always being crushed. Sometimes before something can really be built, you have to bring a lot of pieces together. So I don't want you to think that you're being uh, destroyed. You know, if, if, you, if you think about all the stuff that's been happening, all the things that's been going on, it's been happening sometime we have to remember that you know there's a scripture that says when the enemy comes in like a flood god will lift up a standard sometimes we think it's the enemy but it's god tearing down walls of partition things that are between us and us going farther and doing better in our future because if these walls are not taken down we're at an impasse. We're being hindered. We're being blocked from being the best, um, whatever it is we are to be. You know, and, you know, I've been watching, you know, and looking at different things. You know, people have been talking about what's going on with the president. People talking about about what was going on with the car, this is what's going on with Lee and here. You know what? I think that everything happens for a reason. And if you love those people, you're going to love them just like you always love them. And if you really love them the way you say you love them, and you're really a fan, you know what you're going to do? You're not going to judge them, you're going to pray for them. I'm, I'm going to go Tupac right now. I think it's Tupac, and I stand to be corrected. Don't judge me. Don't judge him. You let God do the judging. What we, as, you know, as Christians, what we should do, we should pray for people when they're in, in a place where everything seemingly is coming against them or a lot of negativity is being advanced toward them. You know, the only difference between anybody and them is that the platform they have affords them more criticism during the times of difficulty. But that platform should afford those people who follow that platform to show them more love. You know, I, I know the Clark sisters. You know, I, I love the Clark sisters. I don't like what's happening with them, but I would never judge it. When I say I don't like it, I don't like that it has to be lived out in front of the public and everybody want to judge or say something. I think that they're sisters and whatever that dynamic is that's going on, the only thing people really need to do is say, Father, touch and bless those sisters because you know what at the end of the day I don't care what's said or what ain't said they're going to be sisters till they die mm -hmm. they sisters for life because you know what Maddie Moss was their mama Maddie was their mama and guess what they all sisters and they love and one thing about family I know is this every family loves uniquely different uniquely different. What? Leandra? Leandra is a gift like no other. And I just believe that God's going to use everything that everybody goes through to help somebody. You know, if, if we don't go through anything, how can we really help people. You know, some people tell my well, I don't want to go through if, if I got to go through all of that. You know what? You got to go through something. You know, people can tell you stuff and, and sound good and talk good, but until you go through something and then you talk to people, you ain't got to go through no long scenario, no long dissertation. People know when you didn't dealt with this stuff. And what you're saying has the real juice or if it's Kool-Aid, okay? Is it 100% juice or 
if it's, you know, Kool-Aid, you know, or even if it's watered down. Some good Kool-Aid can be good, but some watered down Kool-Aid, that's a whole nother story. But 